Well, yeah, there are increasing calls for her to to quit, to, to stop uh, uh, dividing the party uh, if she's got no meaningful chance of succeeding. Now, we've got another national poll, GE poll, showing that the former president is still very much in the lead, beating Biden by six points. How much credence do you give to these polls, Annalisa? There are so many in the US. Um, and it's often said that Trump's support is understated in polling, but surely that can't be the case when you look at the, the lead he's uh, developed in some of these polls. Oh, yeah, and you're absolutely right. There is no end to the number of polls that come out in the United States, but you really have to look at these swing state polls. And so that's defined as any other any state that had a margin of less than 3%. Those are the ones that can change and deliver those critical uh, uh, election electoral college votes that will actually decide how this election plays out. And one of the unprecedented things we're facing in this is Donald Trump's trials. We don't know how these are going to land. We don't know if they're going to knock him out. And while he has more of the grassroots funding, he's not got the big donors behind him. And that's becoming a problem when we're talking about his legal fees and the fine he just received from this civil case in New York. That is not an insignificant amount of money to be talking about hundreds of millions of dollars when uh, election campaigns cost multi-billion US dollars. Now, the president's son is insisting he's facing the ultimate test for a recovering addict, going so far to say that democracy is at risk if he relapses. Hunter Biden told Axios, you have to believe you're worth the work or you'll never be able to get sober. But I often do think of the profound consequences of failure here. I have something much bigger than even myself at stake. We are in the middle of a fight for the future of democracy. Oh my gosh, Annalise, talk about delusions of grandeur. Well, I mean, talk about a um, mismanaged problem because, okay, look at the fact that he's doing this interview with Axios. Axios is a great publication. It's very reputable, but it's known for being the one that gets information out quick in breaking news with policy dot points. So to have an interview about your son's drug addiction in this kind of format, it shows that they're so nervous about how this information is going to get out. They have to put it in this really limited and kind of awkward format. And it also shows that they don't know how to handle this going into the election, that they know it is going to be a problem. They're trying to manage uh, Joe Biden's uh, immigration policy issues. He's having to go to the border now and ending up on the same day as Donald Trump, which will be uh, on Thursday. But the other thing that they're looking at is what's going to happen on Capitol Hill with the special prosecutor who looked into Biden's classified documents is going to be testifying. And there's a real push mm. to have the full transcript of Biden's interviews with that. And so they're going to be facing so many questions about his mental capacity that this is just another fire that they're going to have to put out. Is it just a transcript or is there a possibility that we may actually hear the tapes and hear what the special prosecutor was referring to about how confused he was, how he was forgetting key moments, including his vice presidency when his son passed away? all sorts of uh, data you would expect him to retain. Yeah, and um, that turned out to be one of the most emotive points when Biden called that extraordinary late night press conference when he said that they brought it up and that's why he lost his temper and lost his place. Uh, my understanding is there are tapes and that's where the transcripts have come from, that they've been transcribed from those tapes and people want to see them, they want to hear what's in them. It's not necessarily the normal protocol, but given how significant this is, there might be a way that uh, House Republicans can find it. Uh, by the same token, because they have decided to not proceed with the trial, that tends to be when this stuff doesn't get made public because there's no argument for public interest there necessarily. So I, I think we all want to see it, but uh, whether they can find a way to make it happen is the question.